Okay, so now we're going to do question one. In 1.1.1, we're going to solve for x for this problem here. So we have x squared minus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to find factors of x squared, which is x and x factors of 21 such that they give us the middle term. It's going to be 7 and 3. Then uh, the 7 takes the sign of the middle term, which is negative, and then uh, the 3 takes the positive sign. So it's going to be equal to 0, and then we have x plus 3 equals to 0, or x minus 7 is equal to 0. Then we transpose the 3 to the other side, and this minus 7 to the other side, we have x is equal to minus 3, or x is equal to 7. So these are your solutions of x. Okay, right, um, now we're going to do... 1.1.2 okay so we have x into 5x minus 1 equals to 3 so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply the x inside so it's going to be 5x squared minus x equals to 3 transpose the 3 to the other side we have 5x squared minus x minus 3 equals to 0 so because we can't factorize the expression, we're going to use our quadratic formula, which is minus b plus minus root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So x is equal to minus, our b is equal to minus 1, so it's minus 1, plus or minus root of minus 1 squared minus 4. Our a is 5, so it's going to be 5, and our c is minus 3. And then we divide by 2 into a, which is 5. Then uh, our solutions of x, because we are required to write in two decimal places, so it's going to be 0 0.88 or x is equal to minus 0 0.68. So these are your solutions of x. Now we're going to solve 1.1.3. Um, okay, so we have 2 x squared minus 9x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to factorize. Greater than or equal to 0. Um, the factors of 2x squared, we have 2x and x factors of 4 such that when you add and subtract, they give you the middle term. So it's going to be 4 and 1 here. So it's negative and negative. Then uh, because we have our inequality here means that we need to find our critical values. So it's going to be 2x minus 1 equals to 0 or x minus 4 equals to 0. Then you transpose the one to the other side. You have 2x equals to 1 or x equals to 4. Then you divide by 2 both sides. You have x equals to 1 over 2. So you have two um, critical values here. So what you're going to do is you're going to represent them in your number line. Um, you have your 1 over 2 and we have your 4 and then um, you're going to test values before your critical value so this is your critical value and this is your critical value so you're going to test values before your critical value which can be your minus 1 and value between your critical values which can be your 2 and values after your critical value which can be 5 so you need to test uh, these values here and substitute them in your um, standard form of equation of 2x squared uh, minus 9x plus 4. So you substitute where there's x, you substitute these values here. Then um, the signs that you're going to get, because we're interested in the signs and not the solution. So the sign that you're going to get before this critical value of half, uh, you're going to get a sign of positive. And then when you substitute uh, the value of 2 inside your equation, um, the sign you're going to get in this case is a negative here. And then just after your critical value of 4, which is 5, so you're going to substitute it into the equation and you will find the sign of positive. So these signs uh, tell you that um, uh, there's uh, solutions of y are positive when x is equal to a negative. Solution of y is negative when x is equal to 2.
solution of y is positive when x is equal to 5. So we need to go back to the equation and, and see what is the requirement of the equation. We want solutions of x such that the solutions of y are greater or equal to 0. So we're going to focus on positive signs. So meaning that um, now that we know that we want to look at the positive signs, which means we have our shaded since it's greater or equal to 0, we're going to have our shaded uh, point facing the positive solutions. So you have our shaded point facing the po positive solutions. Then we can confirm now that since our solutions are, are facing the positive uh, signs, we can say x must be less than or equals to 1 over 2 or x must be greater or equals to 4. So these are your solutions of x for this problem. Now we're going to solve 1.1.4. Now we are having 3x plus 1 minus 3x minus 1 minus 24 equals to 0. So the first thing is we're going to break down. So it's 3x multiplied by 3 to the power 1 minus 3 into the power x multiplied by 3 to the power minus 1 minus 24 equals to 0. Then we use the value of k. So we let k be equals to 3 to the power of x because it's common throughout and then we substitute that value of k so it's going to be 3k minus 3 to the power of minus 1k minus 24 equals to 0 and um we need to write this expression in in, in proper form so it's going to be 3k minus um k over 3 minus 24 equals to 0 then we're going to cross multiply um or let me say we're going to multiply out the 3 multiply out the 3 and then we'll have 9k minus k minus 24 times 3 equals to 0. So 9k minus k is going to give you 8k minus 72 equals to 0. Then um, we're going to transpose the 72 to the other side. You have 8k is equals to 72. Divide by 8 both sides. We're going to have k equals to 9. But you need to remember that we said k is equals to 3 to the power of x. So where there's k, we're going to put 3 to the power of x. So it's going to be 3 to the power of x is equals to 9. But 9 can be written as 3 to the power of 2. So we're going to have 3 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of 2. Then we have same basis. We're just going to drop the exponent. So x is equals to 2. So this is our solution of x. So 1.2, we need to solve for x and y using these two equations here. Uh, then we have uh, y plus 2x is equal to 2 as our first equation. And we have y squared minus 3yx is equal to minus 2x squared as our second equation. So to solve for x, we need to first identify our equation 3. So we will use this one because it's simpler. And we're going to have y is equals to 2 minus 2x as our third equation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to substitute equation 3 into equation 2. So wherever we see y, we're going to replace it with 2x. So wherever we see y, we're going to replace it with 2 minus 2x. All right. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we, we see y squared here. So it's going to be 2 minus 2x squared minus 3 into 2 minus 2x multiplied by x is equal to minus 2x squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand this expression. So it's going to be 2 minus 2x, 2 minus 2x. Minus 3 into 2 minus 2x multiplied by x equals to minus 2x squared. Then we will find the product of this expression here. So we're going to multiply out using our FOIL method. And we'll have, we'll have 4. Then we're going to have 4, which is this 2 multiplied by this 2 is 4. Then this 2 multiplied by this other 2 is going to be minus 4x and then minus 4x plus 4x squared. So what's going to happen is uh, we're going to multiply this x inside here. And we're going to have minus 3 into 2x minus 2x squared. 
equals to minus 2x squared and then we're gonna collect like terms for this part here um so we're gonna have 4 minus 8x plus 4x squared and then this 3 will multiply everything that is inside we have minus 6x plus 6x squared transpose the 2 to the other side uh, it's going to be positive 2x squared equals to 0 and then we're going to collect like terms so this 4x squared and this 6x squared and this 2x squared we're going to write it in one side so it's x squared um, plus 6x squared plus 2x squared then we're going to collect like terms of these two here so it's going to be minus 8x minus 6x and then we plus the 4 equals to 0 so when you add these three like terms here we're going to have 12x squared and these two like terms we have minus 14x plus 4 equals to 0 and then we're going to divide by 2 all sides just to simplify the problem so we will have um, 6x squared minus 7x plus 2 equals to 0. Now we're going to find the factors of this problem here. So the first thing is we find the factors of 6x squared um, such that those factors help us in um, with the factors of 2 um, and then uh, making sure that we at the end of the day we get the middle term. So if we use 3x and 2x here and then we um, we say the factor of 1 here and 2 here. So what this means is when you multiply this 3 with this 1, you're going to get 3. And when you multiply these 2 and this uh, 2x, you're going to get 4, right? Um, when you add the 3 and the 2, it gives you the middle term of 7. So those factors are correct. Then we put the signs inside, so it's going to be minus here and it's going to be minus here. So uh, 3x minus 2 equals to 0 or 2x minus 1 equals to 0. Transpose the 2 to the other side, you have 3x equals to 2 or 2x is equals to 1. Divide by 3, divide by 3, here divide by 2, divide by 2, so x is equals to 2 over 3 or x is equals to 1 over 2 so these are your solutions of x remember that your equation of y is equals to 2 minus 2x which is the equation 3 so what we're going to do is we're going to say y is equals to 2 into 2 um then we substitute this x here which is 2 over 3 or y is equals to 2 minus 2 into we substitute this x here of 1 over 2 then we have y is equals to 2 over 3 or y is equals to 1 so these are our solutions of y and these are our solutions of x 1.3 we are going to simplify this problem here without the use of a calculator so uh, we're going to simplify this problem here so if you write it properly it's a fourth root and then it is square root of 20 minus square root of d of x of 4x right and it multiplies the same um, expression fourth root of root of 20 minus plus the root of d of x of 4x so um, what we're going to first do is because it has the same fourth root so we're going to use one fourth root for the entire problem um, remember that when you have the root of 2 multiplied by root of 2 we're just going to say a root we're going to take this root as 1 because it has same squared roots so we're going to multiply what's inside so we're doing the same concept here so um, we're just going to multiply what's inside so we're going to say um, root of 20 minus root of d of x of 4x and then we multiply it with root of 20 plus root of d of x of 4x. Then now uh, we're gonna write our <coughs> gonna write our fourth root, and then um, we're just gonna multiply what's inside. 
So before we multiply what's inside, let's first deal with this um, d of x of 4x. Um, so what this means is if we have d of x of 4x, it means we need to derive what's inside the brackets. So when you derive 4x, it gives you 4, right? Um, so that's what we're going to put inside here. So it's going to be um, your bracket and root of 20 minus root of 4. Then you close your bracket, open to the other side. You have root of 20 plus root of 4. Then you close your bracket. So now, um, because, because this expression here, so remember that this is 4. Let me write it nicely. So it's going to be 4. So now, uh, remember that um, if you have a difference of two squares, x squared minus 1. So when you factorize it, it's x plus 1, x minus 1. So as you can see, this expression is, is, is factorized the same way as this one. Um, we just need to find solutions as a difference of two squares. So you're just going to multiply this with this. And we're going to get the fourth root of... So when you multiply a root of 20 and a root of 20, you're just going to get 20. And then we're just going to multiply the root of 4 and the root of 4. And you're going to get um, 4. So multiply the root of 20 and the root of 20, you get 20. Multiply the root of 4 and the root of 4, you get 4. So then you have a fourth root of 20 minus 4, you're going to get 16. And the fourth root of 16 is going to give you a solution of 2.